And welcome back to another episode of Hexagen Plays, Slay Aspire. Today we are going to play another daily climb. Looks like today we have the Ironclad with time dilation. All enemies come slow. Midas, enemies drop 200% more gold, but you cannot upgrade cards at rest sites. And Night Terrors, resting at rest sites, heals 100% of your HP, plus 5 max HP. This looks like it's another uh, sort of rest site meta change for today. Doesn't look like scores are all too high, so let's see what we can get done. Time for a challenge, granted, sure. So, we're probably gonna wanna skip rest sites just so we don't lose out on the 5 max HP. I'm pretty sure it's. It's only if we rest. Hmm. Oh, regardless, let's go for a elite straight away, I guess. That's usually the right course to take on these dailies. Looking at it though, this one actually is pretty solid of a path. Let's also check out what's at this shop. Slow. For each card played, this turn Jarum takes 10% more damage. That's like uh, the big statue head, I guess. It's fine. Got an extra damage out of that, I guess, for what it's worth. I wonder if it's better to play three strikes in instead of a bash and strike fan on a turn like this. It's not going to die, unfortunately, so we are going to want to defend and probably kill him next turn if we can. Probably could have defended twice there again. Playing a bit too quickly. Right off the bat. Well, I guess that's a good thing for a daily since we do get more points if we finish under a certain amount of time. Let's go with Iron Wave. We get two random cards, sure. Defending a strike, not the greatest, but uh, what can you do? Can't afford any of these guys. What would make the biggest impact? Here. Probably a clash, seeing as we just picked up a Iron Wave, and we remove a defend. So I guess the play is try and build the clash. Doesn't seem like too bad of an option. And kill you pretty easily. We're probably just gonna take three. Guess we did that in the wrong order, kinda as well. Easy turn. Even got enough out of Clash to kill him instantly. Not bad. Let's uh, skip these guys. Fight or not fight? Let's check this question mark again. Max HP? Where's the next shop? There is a shop further down this line. But Regret is actually just really bad, especially with Clash that we just picked up. Uh, let's go for the max HP then. Whoops, didn't want to... Go here if not necessary. Well, we're back to 80 HP. Already forgetting. I think it's still fine. Clash is one of our stronger attacks, so we're not going to get much better of a second turn. Still just going to attack him, I guess. Probably should have thrown on the weak potion then. Yeah, that was a pretty bad weak potion. Should have done it a turn sooner. It's probably not even gonna hit us a second time. Did have two though, so ends up being okay. Offering not as good with the chance of drawing into defends with Clash, but I think it could be all right still. You know what? I'm gonna pass up. I think that's fine. I just want to enable Clash as often as possible. Drop kick. Definitely want another way to vulnerable if possible. Both these paths are pretty bad. We're gonna have to lose five more max HP, I think. In which case, let's go the path that we least fight in, Elite. And we're always gonna lose five HP before the boss. That's pretty bad. Guess we wanted a feed or something. I don't think I saw one in an earlier shop, but I could be mistaken. Probably did that in the wrong order. Nice. Definitely did that in the wrong order, but he's still gonna die. Fire breathing, huh? Rage isn't too bad. We'll give more block than defend probably in the future, but we do need to remove our defense first. Burning Pact also helps out. If we get more clashes, that'd be nice too. I think I'll pick this for curses, just in case we ever get any. 
could buy all their artifacts. That's probably the slow, more than anything. Do need to use this. Give us a defend, which is fine. Start taking out an outside one. Exhausted a regular strike. Not super ideal, but... Did what we had to. This looks like it's probably going to end up being a slightly slower one run. Even though we picked the Clash. It's because we don't really have too much else to enable it just yet. Just Anchor and Lantern. Hopefully this Elite Fight gives us something to speed things up. That'll probably be days. Got pretty lucky there. You're just dead. Gonna hit us for eight. That's fine, I guess. We're gonna have to heal up before the boss anyway. Yep, can't play with all these days, unfortunately. Let's try to get some more attacks, which we did get. He would have died anyway, in retrospect. Dual wield on Clash. I think that's the right play. Assuming we can get rid of more defense. Draw three cards exhaust. No thank you. Could get Vajra or something. Paper Frog is really good. But I think we just need to keep removing defense for now. We're going to make this work. Bandage up could be okay. Still can get Vajra. Eh, it's just one strength, and we don't have any multi-attacks yet. So I think we will skip it. We'll fight it. I don't remember if we still get a Relic run one after this. Kind of hope we do, but if not, whatever, I suppose. Did get Clash. I was hoping. That was actually pretty perfect. About as well as I wanted that to turn out. So really can't complain. Don't suppose you're still dead. Nice. Thunderclap, we were asking for more vulnerable. Could buy five more HP. I don't think there's any way to not click that button, as far as I know. It's unfortunate that we have to exhaust before we draw. It'll probably be drop kick, I'd imagine. Yeah. Now we have two of those hanging around in our deck. May as well get a slight bit of extra damage in there. I think that was equivalent. Whoops, that was definitely a turn to weaken Bok. Good damage though. Let's try and get our clashes again. Not quite. Definitely not the greatest Hexaghost fight I've ever done, I will admit, up to this point. Still kind of just hesitating on the potions. There we go, that's a good turn. Doubt it's gonna kill you, but... No need for block. Some more clashes. Pretty easy bring pack to play. Should be very dead. Nice. Hmm, this is interesting. We are technically exhausting cards, but I don't think we need to exhume anything we exhaust. So, probably Reaper. Or HP high in various places. So only four, though. Without any strength gain, it's kind of sad. Fiendfire is also technically acceptable. Depending on what we get. Again, no strength, though. 
I think Reaper is more likely to work out. Give me... Let's see what we want here. Transform three cards and upgrade them. We have two defends. We theoretically could get rid of Burning Pack 2 in that case, but uh, I'd rather not. I think we want Astrolabe over White Beast Statue. Question is, what's our third card? Dropkick, I think, is fine since we have Thunderclap and Bash now. Probably a Strike then. Unless we want to get rid of Reaper. And being a bit slow on making this decision, so let's just go with a Strike. Sword Boomerang, Carnage, and Whirlwind. That's actually really good. So we're going to want to try and get some Strength Gain, and holy cow, we have 700 gold. Both these shops are probably a good place to hit. Spirit Guardian. Definitely can't. Vulnerable you, but may as well do that. May as well do that just to uh, get through your artifact. Definitely want more... Uh... What's it called? Iron Waves? Yep. To make up for a lack of block. You're just dead. Clothesline also isn't too bad. Just a single one anyways. Get... Our choice of moves here, probably... Sword Boomerang, Iron Wave, Close Line. I'm trying to think which the percentages would apply to more. We got two damage out of Close Line. I don't know if we got anything extra out of Iron Wave. Wasn't paying close enough attention. Good turn. Good enough turn to kill him, apparently. Lex probably isn't bad. Especially since we have upgraded Sword Boomerang and such now. You can always just play it for zero. Give me amazing trinkets. And by trinkets, I mean definitely not trinkets. Uh, relics. That's a different game. It would be Isaac. Anything you want to remove? I think the answer is probably no at this point. Could remove a basic strike, I guess. Definitely haven't seen any more... Clashes, unfortunately. Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with what we have. Innate. Could do six stall enemies on the first turn pretty easily. But I think we'll save our gold. Really, though, there's no way we're going to spend as much as we have. Let's at least buy these guys. That's a pretty safe bet. Flex. Let's uh, get rid of this strike and see if we get anything better. Not quite, unfortunately. No need to heal, so we'll probably go Iron Wave Strike. Dramatic Entrance. Knock this bird out of the air. His Hex is never going to bother us, pretty much. Which is always a good thing. I never know if Thunderclap Whirlwind's worth it. Let's see, that'll be 12 times 2 Or is just 8 times 3 I guess it's actually equivalent here. Doesn't really matter. Just do Whirlwind then. Probably. It's unfortunate that we couldn't weaken you. Could have used a potion, but I don't think that's necessary. Probably Clash Last. And by Clash Last, I mean Carnage, since it does the most damage. Wow, off by one. Ozine plus tempting, but no thank you, I think. We don't have any strength. Definitely want max HP. We're not going to be at full HP, really. 
upgrade all my future attacks. We could pick up another sword boomerang because of it. Without strength gain, I don't think we need to. I'd rather see our single clash more often. Moment of truth, somewhat. Don't think that mattered too much. Probably a Reaper last. Uh, never mind. Should have Reapered first. Clearly. And probably should have clotheslined at the end there. Bad decisions were made. That was probably the wrong order for those as well. Think is fine. Yeah. Please summon more dudes. Nope, you're gonna hit me for a ton. I don't know if I'm gonna kill you for sure, so I should probably consider close lining. Twelve. It's really hard to do the percentages on. Slow. Like in your head. I really don't think this is gonna be enough though that way, so let's do this. You're already weakened. Guess we're just taking 27. Ornamental fan is going to be really helpful. Seeing red is all right, especially if we upgrade it. It's always at least worth playing on a turn. I'd like to avoid campfires. So where's our next elite in that case? Probably up this way. It's going to be a lot of combat, but hopefully it's worth it. Get extra energy after we rest. Probably just four times whatever. Yeah, no need to ornamental fan. To make sure this is what we want to do. Definitely is. Yep, I think that was a well-played turn. Definitely was a little bit of a puzzle to figure out, but uh, worked out pretty well. Sever Soul is good for clash turns if we end up getting tons of like dazes and stuff. I think we'll take one, especially a plus. I think a plus could be a bit occasionally worth it. We're almost at full HP now. There's no reason not to just continue up this path. Snake plant. Definitely play you still. Do a wheel dramatic entrance. And we can just play everything, it seems. Probably should have done those before the bash. To get some extra damage off bash, but... I think it's alright. I'm just going to take one damage. Totally acceptable. Still need to play you. Not bad. Havoc is probably not necessary, even if it is free at this point. Just skip those guys. Pretty happy with where our deck is, to be honest. Not for Sneko, though. Best order for this. Definitely Bash. Oh, hopefully we can still kill you next turn in some fashion. Seeing red. Yep, that works. Anger plus, huh? It does cost zero. We just need more card draw, really, before we'd ever consider that. Definitely no Juggernaut. Rampage? I think Rampage works still.
Let's see, I don't think we play Strike, or even Dramatic Entrance at that. I don't think it adds enough to the final two hits of Whirlwind. Could be wrong. You're at two? Do 33% more damage. Like 10 or something? For missing out on two? But it honestly might still be worth it. Let's go for a Strike. Let's save Dramatic Entrance for next time it comes around. Guess we got the extra block out of that as well. Or something. Probably just Rampage Carnage. Sever Soul almost as good as Carnage, it seems. Can't play Dropkick, unfortunately. Well, obviously we can play it, but we don't get the benefit out of it from Bash. I think is what we want to do. More big hits. Yeah, it's a pretty sad hand. In fact, I probably shouldn't even play that. Well, that still kills. Healing is more effective. That's great as the Ironclad, obviously. We exhaust this for extra energy if we get lucky. But probably not super likely. I don't want a second dual wield either. Just in case it pops up in my hand at the same time as other stuff. Let's go for that instead of the poison potion. Match and keep. What do we want here? Definitely not regret. Nor barricade, really. Would I take a second bash? We have the option. We have one more attempt. Let's see what else we can find. Sword boomerang barricade. Ash number two. To be honest, I don't really want any of them. Give me that panacea if you can. Nope. Continue forward then. What's the order here? Close line last, probably. I'm just kind of feeling. Playing both of these is probably fine. Especially since he's not buffing or anything. I'd love to Reaper. I might get rid of the kill on him, though. And just hit for 10 and 16. I think we go for the kill over Reaper. 16, 26. You're at 10% more. That is already 11 on you. You'd be 12 times 1. 12. 18. I don't think it's enough still. Let's just go for Whirlwind. And hopefully get a single Reaper hit on you. For some sad amount. Fortunately, we just killed you. Which is also fine. Disarm, huh? That'll work on boss fights since I don't think we kill super quickly. Champion. He's gonna probably get rid of that debuff, unfortunately. That's a pretty great whirlwind, depending on how we play this. Right now you're 13 times 2, which is better than whirlwind. Dramatic Entrance probably is our worst card, but it does, uh... cost energy. Clearly. Definitely not gonna play this strike. May as well play you now. I think we will still play Clothesline. Or will we? Yeah, the weak's probably gonna help us live. Well, I guess we could just play this. And be just as well off. Alright, that's fine. Does getting you to 40% matter? I can assume not. Alright, respectable amount of damage, he's down by 80. Let's vulnerable him for next few turns. He gave himself some strength. 
we will just live with. May as well get some more drop kicks going. Good hand, I think. S seeing red definitely pays for disarm at the very least. Which is the point of it. Get down this bash. Something's happening, that's for sure. As we just continue playing deck archetypes I never thought I'd play before. It's like the end of the last episode, somewhat. Would I want more of something here? I think the answer is no. Guess I could play Reaper for four. Probably not necessary. You know what, give me a second Rampage or something. Definitely want to upgrade Rampage as a thing. I don't know, I just, I think we probably just throw away the extra energy, to be honest. Not worth it. Could have tried drawing for Clash and then duplicating it. But, uh, turned out okay. Can you not hit me for that much? It's not going to kill me. They are weak for a turn, so may as well just weaken him instead of dealing damage. May end up mattering. You know what, give me this draw now. What's best to play here? Probably Sword Boomerang for sure. We can't get Dropkick on you really. not going to kill us this turn, which is ideal. Give me Clash. That was not a Clash. And do 30. Which I think is better than vulnerable you for next turn. Yep, you gotta die now. Which is pretty easy. Thankfully. We get... I think we just pick none of these, to be honest. Once again, no longer see intent. It's not like we're blocking anyway, so that's probably the right pick. One more floor. Looks like we have time meter and 800 gold again. Let's uh, see if we can't take out this guy super early. No intent, that is correct. Oh, we definitely can't vulnerable you. Question is, order of attacks now. We still have four energy, so that is everything, so we'll just go in order of strength. Take that back slightly, since this will probably kill you now. Wait, what? You're only at one? That was a miscalculation then. I think you still need to die for us to be safe. It's getting really hard to tell the order for this. Probably Carnage, Whirlwind, Clash, Clash, and then you're probably dead. Alright. Math intuition was not wrong there for once. Flex Plus, I think we'll take. We can remove the regular Flex now if we wish. Ice Cream, that's interesting. Battle Trance. We battle trance into Burning Pact, we're in trouble. So I am tempted to not pick it up just because of that. Definitely ice cream. Kind of don't have any powers even. We got the strength power, I'd definitely take it. Just haven't seen it yet. Fire breathing we could potentially take then for mummified hand. I think I'm just going to go all out on buying stuff this this time. <laughs> remove something or a dropkick? Could remove a strike. Dropkick is 
usually a free attack, which is nice with slow. So I think we will take a drop kick as well. Well, I think I'd rather move a strike, to be honest. Anything else we'd rather remove? Yep, goodbye strike. There's less damage than most other things at this point. Whirlwind, please? Not quite. Do we dramatic entrance last? Not sure. Does deal the most to everybody that way. We can kill someone. We'll keep Carnage around. Whoops, that did a lot more damage than I thought it would. I guess I really shouldn't say whoops, but I am okay with him dying, I suppose. Hit Disarm. Well, I guess if it's gonna cost one anyway to play this, well, it doesn't matter. Did hit Disarm anyway for what it's worth. You're probably gonna be around the longest. You've only been away for one turn now, I think. So we just need to kill you by next turn. Never mind, it's completely wrong. Got Burning Pact first, luckily. That'll be on Strike. And we seeing red. Don't actually need to battle trance, but may as well. Another flex. No need to dual wield whirlwind. We're at full HP as well, so. Whoops, I accidentally just added an ornament. Really didn't want to do that. Like really, really. Like really, really? Can't upgrade that. At campfires either. Well, good thing we got this event. Let's go left. Get out of here, serpent, please. Once again, cannot uh, vulnerable. Unfortunately, you're both six, right? So you don't matter the order. And carry over this two energy at the very least. Can we kill you if I don't play Disarm? 20 damage four times. That's probably a yes. Not bad. Reckless charge for free? Actually, probably not bad, surprisingly. But I'd rather not take the extra damage if we can avoid it. I think we're probably still gonna have to pass it up. Give me another amazing. Whirlwind, I was going to say, which unfortunately we did not, clearly. We are killing the one that I just weakened and debuffed, which is probably the wrong order, for sure. We're going to play all but a strike, I think. Where does this leave you? Yeah, we still have to attack you. Fourteen times five. Not quite sure on the math, but it's definitely the, our most damage. Definitely killed you. Pommel. We probably are never going to upgrade it, though, so it's less useful. Unless we draw into like a flex or strike or something, or a clash, I mean. Whatever, we'll still pick it for that reason, I guess. Did a good job avoiding most campfires until now. I have one left going this path. Upgrade a card for a chance at an injury. I don't think we take the chance of an injury since we don't have another shop. Can't afford a curse. Four paint gives us battle trance and dual wield, that's real good. Seven energy, also real good. Oh yeah, that's right, Pommel Strike instantly upgrades. Completely forgot. What's our damage order here? I guess it's... This. Guess we should have played Clash earlier. That was definitely the wrong order. Did the best we could there. He's going to continue weakening us. Not much we can do about that. I can exhaust something. Should probably be dropkick. 
So I think we still can get drawn to something better. Seeing red. We don't actually need to heal now is a thing. Whatever, we'll get it out of our deck for the moment. There's our Whirlwind. We'll Pommel first, just because we want to see what we get with Battle Trance. That is a lot of cards. Need to open up some room for Clash. Since we are at... 10. One more card will do it. Probably Rampage. Then Whirlwind for one. Well, I guess Strike Plus is better. A lot of options that hand, but uh oh, should have played one for free at the end maybe. Definitely for fire breathing. Can I play Burning Pact for nothing? And get some card draw. Answer seems to be yes, and we get a whirlwind we can't play. Starting to take a decent amount of damage. Two battle trance gives us. That's probably death for you, I'd imagine. Not bad. Darkstone Periapt. No need for another flex or anything. Headbutt, huh? That does allow us to bring clashes back. After a certain point, we'll get a ton of clashes, but uh, I think I'll still take one headbutt. This could hurt. already started hurting. Definitely need to kill you quickly since we have no way of blocking. Ah, uh, that was real bad. Guess we hit with a Reaper in a second? No better the turn than this one. It's hard to say. I think we do this first. Maybe even should have brought back a... Or a dual-wielded it, that is. Fire-breathing unnecessary, for sure. By you, by you. Get our burning pact back. Not really what I was hoping for there. Yeah, no way out of getting taking damage. So may as well just knock you out of here. Do 19 as is. Can we just like wait around? Or just take five, that also works. Another clash, finally. Definitely dual wield on clash still. Should we kill these guys first? Probably. That was okay. Definitely can't. Vulnerable use. May as well play all of our one cost things. Of which we have four, so definitely do it in order of least damage to most. And it did just kill you. Another upgraded pommel. Sure, I'll go for it. You fire orbs definitely need to go. Let's get this... Fire breathing out of here, I think. To be honest. Instead of playing it this turn. Ended up not being great, to be honest.
spawned another one. We shall live with. Definitely need to play disarm on someone, so it'll probably be you. Even though you might just be dead. Not quite. That definitely did a lot. Give me a good reaper here, if you can. The best we're going to get is like 10 or something. Which is unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, we're almost at full. Can't complain about that. Could have got another flex plus if I wanted to. Going to the final boss with... 62 HP. Seeing red, fire breathing, clash. Honestly, fire breathing, I think. Shouldn't matter too much against the boss. We rarely get a chance to play it. Alright, time eater. Show me what you got. Could be worse. We're gonna need Reaper in all honesty. I'd like to headbutt back a Clash as well. What do we get rid of here then? Probably Iron Wave, as weird as that sounds. Hmm. Or is it Thunderclap? You're already vulnerable. I think we might just have to live with our choices there. Start with you. Give me Clash. We're not going to Reaper this turn, of course. I guess there's no reason not to drink this guy. Oh, that was real bad, for sure. Not even joking. That's probably going to get us killed in retrospect. Definitely our turn to Reaper. Can't trigger you as is. Give me back Battle Trance. We're gonna Reaper last just for any extra HP it gives us. Wow, we can play one whole card. Guess it's Strike. You're not wrong, it was pretty foolish, but you did just heal for 8. So I'm a little vindicated. Let's pommel first. By dropkick. Which turned out to be okay in the end. You're a bigger hit than Clash, so we really should do it in this order. Please don't kill me. We're so close and I can't tell what you're doing, which is what makes us feel so scary. Oh my god. We triggered him. Spire consumes another. Yeah. We probably could have won that. It actually surprised me because I wasn't paying attention at the end, end there. We were so close. Oh well. Let's see what our score is. 604. Definitely not that great compared to what I saw. Yeah, had we potentially been able to see what we were doing and know that we were getting uh, ice cream, we might have been okay. Because if I knew we were getting ice cream, I probably wouldn't have picked the no intense thing. Guess we definitely need to be a slightly more defensive as well. What's our score here? 3-2-3. Three, three. I don't think that's too great for like four hours in. But, uh... Oh, we tried. That was pretty fun so far, I guess. We definitely had way too much gold 90% of the time. I like the time dilation. That could be a fun card if they end up adding that in some other fashion. Like outside of just that one head fight. 
But uh, that is going to bring us to the end of today's episode. Thank you for watching. To give the video a like or dislike, so no thanks, and see you next time.